Good afternoon and welcome. We're coming to you from day two of the Fiji Symposium in Bangalore, the platform for all dialogue on financial inclusion. And with me is Mr. Kwame Ba Acham for the lead on QS Workstream work for Fiji. Welcome, Kwame. And how does it feel to be part of the Fiji Symposium? Thank you very much. It's great to be part of this beautiful collaboration between International Telecom Union and the World Bank Group, um, pursuing this global agenda of financial inclusion which has been um, long overdue and I think that um, this step um, takes us further to bring everybody on board in the financial inclusion agenda. Uh, can you tell us a little more about the potential for digital financial services to actually make financial inclusion a success? What it is is that everybody loves money, everybody yeah. wants mm -hmm. to use money, um, but we also acknowledge that the uh, most advanced rich um, just as money could have gotten into the packets of everyone or into the packets of almost everyone. The means of sending money across to everyone, the potential is with the telecommunications network, which is more connected among people than usually the banks are. Um, they are more unbanked people um, than they are um, less connected people. So we can say that they're connected through um, technology or mobile communications is further than the connection on the banking sector level. So the potential here is that we could spread the connectivity of spreading money around or sharing money around through um, the, the mobile technology platform. And this is the potential where we can use to push for financial inclusion. Uh, tell us how important is it for the telecom companies and the banks to come together to create financial inclusion? I think times have changed. I mean, there used to be the times where we could exchange um, bread with salt and, and we moved into currencies. The time has come that there has to be that collaboration. And just as um, most of um, the, the, the um, countries name it, they call it mobile money. So it puts mobile um, and technology and money on equal footing. Yeah. And this is where the two sectors have to come together, and I believe on equal footing. Um, on the higher level, if they can go as far as having um, laws and regulations which really um, energizes them, which really helps them collaborate to achieve this agenda, it is very um, positive. Um, in meanwhile, if it is a memorandum of understanding, which is between these two sectors, what I will say is that it should be visible to um, more than just the two um, entities who signed these MOUs, but it should be available to all stakeholders so that they know what is on this paper called MOU, so everybody can take advantage of what is between these sectors and for them to be really um, informed um, about the financial inclusion agenda. And uh, what are some of the success factors and the barriers that will allow us to harness the full potential of digital financial services? This is money. And money, taking it around, means trust. There is also the need for security. Um, some of the problems that we've had currently with this financial inclusion and money going around is the people losing their money. And if this keeps going on, there is at the potential that people withdraw from using such a platform. So there is the need that the, the networks are secured. There is the need that the confidence is built among users. And they also have to be assured of the quality of service um, with, with these platforms. So these are very key um, to the success of um, mobile, or mobile money or digital financial services. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your time, Kwame.